The first exam had a 78 average with a 6.4 standard deviation. Use this information to answer parts A and B, rounding your answers to the nearest hundredth. Part A. If Billy scored a 62 on the exam, what would be his z-score? Well, recall that the z-score is value minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. So Billy's value is 62, his mean is 78, and the standard deviation is 6.4. We always have to work in our numerator first. So 62 minus 78 is negative 16 divided by 6.4, which gives me a z-score of approximately negative 2.5. Now, that negative z-score implies that Billy's uh, value is less than the mean, right? Because the mean has a z-score of 0, which makes sense, right? The mean was 78 and Billy's score was a 62. Now, let's use that to answer part B. Into which percentile does Billy's grade place him? If I'm looking at the normal distribution with a mean, right, of 0, Billy falls at a negative 2.5. This is a z-score. Percentile is the proportion or the probability to the left of that particular score. So when I look at the table, negative 2.5 z-score leads me to an area under the curve of 0 .0062. So that means, as a percentile, I multiplied by 100, Billy's percentile is 0.62%. Which means, if you talk about a meaningful sentence with that, Billy scored better than 0.62% of students. It's really not, not very good. Billy probably should work a little bit harder. Okay, yeah, that's it.